it's finale time. Hey guys, it's me, a little sir fetched him. Welcome to the finale of the Renegade Platinum Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we completed Victory Road and fought our two rivals, and now it's time to take on the final challenge of this series. The Elite Four, the Pokemon League. <coughs> Sorry, Cynthia! So, here is our team heading into the Elite Four. So yeah, we have Christy, the Minette Trick, at level 85 with the static ability and the moves Discharge, Fire Fang, Ice Fang, and Crunch. We have Freedom, the Origin Form Giratina, with the le at level 85 with the Levitate ability and the moves Aura Sphere, Earth Power, Dragon Pulse, and Rock Climb. We have Ali Tres. The Cradilly at level 85 with the Storm Drain ability and the moves Energy Ball, Earth Power, Rock Slide, and Amnesia. We have Patty, the... Perugly, I think? Yeah, Perugly at level 85 with the Thick Fat ability and the moves Play Rough, Attract, Body Slam, and Flail. Yeah, Flail. We have our MVP of the series, Lord Helix, the Oma Star at level 85 with the Swift Swim ability and the moves Waterfall, Surf, Earth Power, and Ice Beam. And finally, Sky, the Aerodactyl at level 85 with the Pressure ability and the moves Earthquake, Crunch, Stone Edge, and Fly. That is our team heading into this final challenge. Only one challenge stands in between us and winning. Can I learn Flamethrower, actually? Yes, I can learn Flamethrower. I don't care about Fire Fang. I want Flamethrower. Because I know I'll have to fight a Scizor somewhere in here. So let's move on. We got everything we need, right? Four stores. Oh, yeah, we are chock full of four stores. Let me confirm that you are qualified to challenge the Pokemon League. So, let us examine the gym badges you gathered from Sinnoh. Orberg City's Coal Badge, Forest Badge, Relic Badge, Cobble Badge, Fen Badge, Mine Badge, Icicle Badge, and Sunny Shore City's Beacon Badge. <clears throat> we have all eight gym badges. I like how they have to check, despite the fact that you can't even reach here without all the badges. Very well. Trainer, you've indeed collected all the gym badges of Sinnoh. Demonstrate the power that brought you here and go for glory. Let's do this. No turning back now. It's time. Our first challenge is Aaron. Let's do this. Fetch, you made it! Welcome to the Pokemon League. As I said before, I love bug Pokemon. They're nasty, mean, but beautiful. Would you like to know why I take on challengers here? It's because I want to become perfect, just like my bug Pokemon. Okay, let me take you on. Show me how you've grown. Our first challenge of the Elite Four! Versus Eren. It's a water and bug type, right? No, it's a flying and bug. How does this thing have intimidate? This thing's not intimidating at all. So if I remember correctly, Cynthia's high Cynthia's guard chomp should be at like level 77, 78. So I decided just to get to level 85. I decided to just use up all my rare candies that I could. And yeah, we're ready to go. Level 85, we're gonna do this. Because I didn't want to get too overleveled. I wanted to make sure that I could at least take this on. And not be scared. Entirely. But I didn't want to overlevel to the point where I, like, sweep everything. Where I, like... Don't even, like, I just am yawning the entire time. Mostly because I'm tired, but, you know, because it's way too easy. Drapion. Ooh, that one's a poison bug, right? 
No, it's dark. It's poison and dark. Wait, why does he eat the bug type one then? I'm so confused. Um, I'm so confused. Why is isn't Drapion poison and dark? I think he is. Hold on. Drapion. He is a poison and dark type. Okay, uh, why is he in the bug type one? I guess he does evolve from a bug type Pokemon, but he's not a bug type Pokemon anymore. Oh no! Uh oh. He's gonna heal here, I think. Yeah, he's gonna heal here. Which is fine. That can be dealt with. We got this. Die. It's not gonna kill him. Is he gonna heal again? No. Okay, there we go. We did it! Alright, so next up we got Hair Across. Ooh, that one's a scary. <laughs> Get here! Oh, shoot. He's gonna weaken the damage. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. So I feel like he's got the guts ability. And I really don't want to deal with that. Like, that scares me. That actually scares me, the guts ability. Oh, he lived. Oh, no. What do I do? Oh, no, he's throwing energy at me. How... It's terrifying. Because I should do a little bit of damage, but he won't live. <clears throat> I didn't know if he would use a Fuller's Door again. That ha that's not a crit. Okay, I won't even have. To, I won't even worry about. I won't even worry about like having to do that move. Um. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Let's switch here. There's supposed to be. Today, as I'm filming this, later today, in like a few hours actually, there's supposed to be an E3 Nintendo Direct. Which I'm excited, because that means we're gonna get some new information. I think it's like the second Nintendo Direct this year, and it's like the second one... It's like the first time they've done an E3 in a while, because they stopped doing Nintendo Directs for the longest time. And did like indie showcases and stuff. What the heck? Pokemon Go's background changed. Pokemon Go's loading screen changed. Okay. We did it! I will now concede defeat. But I think you came to see how. No, I hope you realize that you're up against in the Pokemon League. Battling is deep and complex affair. I did it. I lost with the most beautiful and toughest of the bug Pokemon. We lost because I wasn't good enough. That's it. Back to training camp. Let's hear it for me. No, that was wrong. Anyway, go on to the next room. Three trainers are waiting for you. They're all tougher than me. Let's do this. 
I thought it was in Platinum that they changed it so you didn't go through this area. Bertha is Grand type. Right. I believe so. Let's heal up Sky. Real quickly. But I think Bertha is the ground type one. If I'm not mistaken. Well, well, you finally made it here. You're definitely something, youngster. Oh, would you show this old lady how much you've learned? Let's do it! Let's do it! You are challenged by Elite Four Bertha. Hippo down! It's not hip out on it, it's hippo down! Injury ball! Knowing me, he'll probably live this though. Because that's what Hippo Down does. He's mean. Or not. I know if she's gonna have a water and ground Pokemon, it's gonna live. When attacked, it's gonna have Focus Sash. Oh no. How could you do this to me? Dawn Fan. Yeah. I can deal with that. So I don't take any damage from the Sandstorm because I'm a rock type, huh? No! How did you miss? Ow, oh, that's gonna do a lot of damage. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. So no one takes damage from the Sandstorm. It's just there. What the heck? the heck, man? How can you do this to me? I need to heal. It's a lot, game. Let me use one of my multiple forest doors that I have. I'm scared! Stop going for the same move. Unless you want to take yourself out, which is pretty fine by me, actually. Just keep going for that move. Okay. Sandstorm Rage is on. And kill. Finally. Surprised that Dawn Fan doesn't have Rockhead or something. Dude, I don't care about your stupid Rindo Berry. It's, you're gonna die. You're at low enough health to die. You shouldn't have attacked me. Okay, we're back. Uh, I think I'm gonna switch out to... him. Energy Ball would be super effective, but I don't know if I want to risk how low the health he's at. So we'll just... we'll just go for Waterfall. I know it's gonna live. Obviously, I'm not stupid. He's gonna have a focus sash or something. But it's fine. I can deal with that. Or he could just live. That works too. You can live this. You can live this. You can live this! This has got to kill. Yes! Yes! <sighs> that is probably the closest I have come to losing a Pokemon, but haven't actually lost a Pokemon. That definitely has to be the closest I've gotten. That was close. Oh man, that was close. Oh man, I'm just like... 
I just like had the scare of this series. Lord Helix is still living on. Despite the fact that I'm pretty sure he should be dead. If he would have got I don't know if that was a high roll or not, but if he would have gotten a high roll and that wasn't a high roll, Omastar would be dead. Like there's no doubt about it. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Like, there's no doubt about it. He would have been dead if he would have gotten a high roll, which is crazy. But hey, he got a low roll, possibly. Don't even know if that was a, ro a low roll. Or a high roll, I have no idea what that was, but we're fine now. We're fine now. I'll be a little terrified. Just a bit terrified. Go ahead, score! Just, just a bit terrified. We made it. I don't know what I'm gonna do then against. I can't use. There's no way I can use. Omastar against. Ah! There's no way I can use Omastar against. Um, what his name is. Uh, I'm trying to think. Almost start against <sighs> Garchomp. Cynthia's Garchomp. Okay, it's got Poison Heal. Oh, that's great. Wait, what do I do here then? Okay, let's. I guess we can switch out the Giratina because he can't be hit by ground type moves. And we'll figure out what to do from here. Well, I'll be hit by the Sandstorm, obviously, but that's fine. That's why I use Rock Climb. Oh no, he attacked me with a wing. How? Shouldn't that have been super effective? Dang it, this, this one's just taking forever. It's fine, don't have to worry. Please. Okay, that's good. Whew. We win. But we almost lost. Well, dear child, I must say that was most impressive. Your Pokemon believed in you and did their best to earn you the win. Even though I've lost, I found myself with a grin. You're quite something, youngster. I like how you and your Pokemon earn the win by working as one. That's what makes you so strong. Ahaha. <laughs> I think that you can go as far as you want. Well, um, just let's just look at how how close Lord Helix was dying. Uh, two more hit points of damage would have killed him. Let's not have that happen again. I don't remember the Sinnoh Elite Four that well. I know there was a bug in water. There was a bug in ground. Is it fire and then psychic? It could be. 
Dylan Snow. I think there is a fire. Yeah, there's a fire type. There's Flint, but I don't remember if the last one is Psychic or not. I think it's... It's not Will, because that's part of the... Is it Karen? No, Karen's part of the Johto, and she's the Dark type. <sighs> Shoot. I have... I, I think it's Psychic type, but I don't remember what their name is. But I know the next one's Fire type. Or at least should be Fire type. Hopefully. It should be Flint. Yep. Yo, Trina. You have me counting the days on my fingers waiting for you to come. I heard from Volkner that you what you did in Sunny Shore. You managed to light the fire that in that guy's heart again. How could you not expect me to look forward to seeing you in battle? You're facing a fire type Pokemon user with me. Let Flint see how hot your spirit burns. This is Flint. That's six more Pokemon to fight. Rapidash, that's easy. Is there going to be a fire in Rock type? I don't even know if that's a Pokemon. Is there a fire in Rock type? I don't know in this generation if there's a Pokemon that's quad weak to ground or rock. If there's a fire type that's quad weak to rock, to ground. There's definitely not because, um, there's definitely not a fire type quad weak to rock because you know, what the heck? Why? There's not a fire type quad weak to rock because ice type doesn't exist. Well, fly flying type does. I forgot flying type does. It is weak to rock, so there is Moltres, but there's not a fire and ice type until Generation Eight with. Glorian Daru Darmanitan. And then there's not a fire and water type until what is it? Generation six with Volcanion. And he I, I, like I said, I've never understood typings that, like, completely hurt each other, because, like, why would a fire type also be a water type? That just doesn't seem safe for the fire portion of that Pokemon. I mean, I guess those kind of Pokemon have the ability to, like, control whether, like, the water hurts them or not or something like that. I guess. Next up, Driftblim. Yeah, so they went with his... Looks like they went with his team from Diamond and Pearl, despite the fact that he does have a full Fire-type team in Platinum. Okay. It's fine, though. Oh no, how could you do this to me? Oh no! Oh no, I am burnt. How could you do this to me? But yeah, despite the fact that... You know... Flint does have an actual Fire-type team... In... Platinum, and this is... It might actually no. This is what this is the platinum, but you know, platinum, renegade platinum. I would have thought they would have used his fire type team, or would have used like other fire type Pokemon. You know, not his Devon and Pearl team. Okay, they are using Magmortar. That is something. It scares me a bit. Actually, no, it doesn't. I was going to say that it scares me a bit because I know he has fighting type moves, but those aren't going to do anything against me. And his fire type moves? What are they going to do? I got someone who resists them. Yeah. 
Alright, that should do nothing. Okay, and dead. So he should have a low piney if he has his team similar to Diamond and Pearl. He should have a low piney. And the Infernape. Okay, so I just completely lights it. That's fine. I've used every Pokemon on my team, by the way. Well, I guess he does have Infernape on his regular team. Infernape and... In, what is Infernape in... I'm trying to think of the Pokemon that exists in this game. Infernape... And... Pony... And Rapidash are the only two... Fire-type Pokemon that he actually has on... Diamond and Pearl team, because it's like the only two Fire-type Pokemon that exist in the regional Pokedex. We did it. Okay, so you should have one more Pokemon, and I'm guessing it's gonna be like... Well, up. Blue opening. We'll stay out because I have a plan. And mostly that plan is just trying to survive. My plan is to hope that Low Pony goes for high jump kick when I fly into the air, gets damaged a lot. And then, I'll be able to kill it on the next turn without having to worry. Yes, that's what I was hoping for. That is exactly what I was hoping for. Even if I did it. That's what I was hoping for. That's the strategy of this game. Flint is defeated. I don't believe it, I've lost. I didn't take you for granted. I didn't expect you to win. I'd never even considered it. I'm blown away by this. You and your Pokemon are hot stuff. Phew, burnt right down to cinders. Okay, goodbye. We have, I think, Psychic type left to fight. I think. Is there really a slow poke? There's there's really a slow poke spotlight hour tonight for Pokemon. I literally for Pokemon Go. I literally caught like four shiny slow poke during the event. I have hold on. I have two slow poke that aren't evolved shiny, and then I have a slow bro and a slow king. Shiny. Like, I caught too many Slowpoke during the event. It just... They just they just wouldn't stop showing up. They wouldn't leave me alone. Okay. So if it's Psychic type, I want to switch out to... Uh... Yeah, I think we can stay out with this, actually. Because he has Dark type move. Unless it's Dark type. I don't know if it's Dark type or Psychic. I know... I only remember, like, one Dark-type Elite Four member, and that's Karen. Is his name Will? It might be Will. I think its name is Will. his name is Will. Oh, you time to arrive a well. I just finished reading a book, you see. You're the trainer I met in Celestion, are you not? You must have become an outstanding trainer to get this far. They say I'm the toughest of the Elite Four. I'm afraid I will have to go all out against you to live up to that reputation. Lucian. Now the name is familiar to me. So Will must be part of Jodos. I, I think there is a Will, but I I couldn't remember if it was this one or part of Jodos Elite Four or something. I think a Will exists. Am I wrong about that? Most likely, because I'm like always wrong about everything, but that's fine. 
Who needs to be right about something? Okay, I was about to say, wait, why are you using a Stormy? Because for some reason I thought we were on the ground type one for a second, and I was like, what? Why Stormy? But then I realized, oh wait, we're on the Psychic type one. Stormy is a Psychic type. In case you didn't know. In case that is a fact that slipped your mind, Stormy is indeed a Psychic type. In every Pokemon game. Maybe they'll use a, a Golduck in this, because Golduck is Psychic type in this game. Like it should be. Okay, that's Go... That's... Uh... That's... I'm trying to think here, that's Psychic and Normal, I think? It's like in DD, so I can't hit it with ghosts, with ghost type attacks. Uh, do I have Crunch here? I think I did have Crunch, that's the problem. I did have Crunch, but then I saw something, but then I saw I needed Rock Climb, so I was like, eh, who needs Crunch? I got that another Pokemon. Oh no. This is gonna hurt. I'm like upset that I didn't kill. Or even get. that I didn't kill. I should have killed, I'm just saying. Should have killed. I think Giratina, though, Freedom is like the Pokemon with the highest amount of health on our team. Which. You know, it's just a bit crazy. But it is mostly because I did train this thing against a Blissey, and Giratina already had, like, the highest health because of, you know... Sh because it's a legendary. Next up is Medicham. That's a Psychic and Fighting, so we can switch out to... We can do our strategy. This is our strategy. Watch this. Watch this. Strategy! Ah, uh, okay, what? That's not fair. He gets to move faster. He's, uh, faster. Ow, that's gonna really hurt, then. Ow, oh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Yes! 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 My strategy is... a thing... I did it. I love my strategies. This is my best strategy in the entirety of this year. Oh, it's a fighting in psychic again. Oh no! Fighting in psychic, right? What do we do? Cause there's like no way I can. Hmm. We're gonna risk it. We're gonna risk it. I know this thing's faster than me. I'm gonna heal. This is scary. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? A leaf blade? Oh, that's gonna do something. It's gonna do a bit. Oh, that does half? Are you kidding me? Oh, that's because it was a critical hit. Okay. Okay. That's scary. Please don't let this thing have, like, that ability. I don't know what it is, but there's, like, an ability that makes it so critical hits land easier. Please don't let that be a thing. That he has. Okay, this should do nothing. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. High jump kick! <laughs> oh, shoot. Wait a second. If he uses close combat, I think we're screwed. I feel like he's gonna live this somehow. I didn't. He didn't. Yeah. I did it. Executor. 
Oh no. Oh, it's the final Pokemon! Awesome! It's Lucian's final Pokemon. Okay, so then we should be up to Cynthia next, which is scary. I'm a little bit scared. Uh, it's just just a bit more than a little bit, actually. I'm a lot a bit scared. It shouldn't do half. Yeah, it shouldn't do half. And then I'll just do this. Ah, what? 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 Get a crit. Get a crit. That's not a crit. Oh, but it lowered his defense. That works out perfectly fine. Oh, that's perfectly fine. And... Freedom! Okay, we have made it to Cynthia. Will our Elite Four challenge end here? Will we lose? It's time to find out. Congratulations, you have now beaten the Elite Four. However, that doesn't mean you're done with the Pokemon League. It remains the champion. I should warn you, the champion is far stronger than the Elite Four. Now go on, step through the doorway to your final battle. I'm going to heal up my team and get ready to take on the Elite Four. I realized I had said that we were about to fight the Elite Four, but that's like the last thing that we need to do because we already just took on the Elite Four. It's time to fight Cynthia. I'm scared. I ran into a wall, that's how scared I am. I am scared. Have you been keeping well? Thank you for Mount Coronet and for the Distortion World. I'm truly grateful. Together you and your Pokemon overcame all the challenges you faced, however difficult. It means that you've triumphed over any personal weaknesses too. The power you learn, I can feel it emanating from you. That's enough talk, let's get on to why you're here. As Pokemon League Champion, I accept your challenge. This could be the end of the run. Well, it is the end of the run either way, but you know. Ah! Get me out of here. Uh, let's get out of here. Either way, this is the end of the run. Okay, that's gonna hurt a little bit. That's gonna hurt a little bit. But it's not gonna be super effective. It's just gonna hurt a little bit. It's just gonna hurt a little bit. It's gonna hurt a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. That was a critical hit. Ow. Okay, this is scary. This is. I should have went out to Manetric. I'm just realizing that I could have gone out to an Etric. Hmm, it wouldn't have mattered anyway. Okay. So this should not do maybe about half then. Because I have a Miracle Seed, it should do half. It didn't do half. That's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, that's perfectly fine. Oh, that is fine. That doesn't even hurt. Okay, what do I have? I have amnesia, right? I could go for amnesia. Just set up on Ollie over here. What does Amnesia do? Because I know I have it. Pokemon... Amnesia. That's... That's not what I wanted. Okay. What does it do? Effect. 
increases the user's special defense by two stages. Okay. I'll do that. Okay, that's fine. That's really fine. That's not fine, actually. Oh no. I mean, I can literally just sit here and do this. If I need to. Oh, yes. Oh, I'll just sit here at Amnesia, and then I won't be able to get hit at all. Well, I won't take any damage. And now, it's time to whittle down the damage. Yes! Okay. Cause I'm not going to take any damage at all now. At least for a bit. Okay, that's good. If I can keep getting the flinches, that's how we're gonna win. Keep getting the flinches, man. Flinch? Yes! Yes! I think I just won. I got the flinch! Yes! No! Watch this, though. You gonna go for that? I'll just use that. Since light screen is faded. Oh, you thought. You were smart. Turns out I am smarter. Okay, that should do a lot of damage now. Or kill. Oh. Well, that's just perfect. Did you... I got lucky. I... I'm, I'm just gonna say I got very lucky with the... Oh, man, I got lucky. Lucario... No. No. We're not staying out with Lucario. Okay, so... Let's do this! Uh, okay, that should do nothing. That shouldn't do as much as I'm worried about. It should do a bit, but it shouldn't be enough to worry. Okay, what is... Do they have one of those orbs that does damage to them? If they do damage to me? Because I know I don't have something that does damage to them if they hit me. Like, I don't have an ability. Spirit Tomb. We got something to do with that. I wasn't even thinking about Spirit Tomb when I chose uh, Patty for my team. I legitimately was not even thinking about Spirit Tomb. I guess it works out. Okay, that's fine. That's honestly fine. That gives me enough time to heal Giratina. For Garchomp. It didn't do any damage to me. That gives me time to heal Giratina. Which is perfectly what I need. And this shouldn't kill. This should do a lot, but not enough to kill. Yep. Perfect. It may seem like we're doing easy now, but when we get to Giratina, when we get to Garchomp, it's just... We're gonna be, like, throwing every Pokemon that we have at it, just trying to kill it. Like, my strategy for Guard Chump is literally just throw everything at it. 
If any of our Pokemon die to Garchomp, that's fine. This is the final battle anyway, and as long as we have enough Pokemon to survive the rest of her Pokemon, if she sends out our Garchomp next or something, you should be good. Ampharos, that's a dragon type. Uh, shoot, I don't have a ground type Pokemon. I have Sky, but there's no way I'm risking it, so let's go for Ollie Trace. Let's heal him up, and he has Earth Power. Please don't have an Ice type move. Even if you do, though, I don't think it's gonna hurt me that much. What I could do is maybe try to set up or something, I don't know. Let's see what you go for. You could go for that. That really hurts. That's gonna hurt a bit. Okay. Okay. That just hurts a bit. That's scary. Okay, you should've... Should've realized that. Oh, yay. Is Focus Blast a physical move? I'm not gonna say anything. I did it. Okay. Focus Blast is accuracy of 70? What the heck? Watch this. Watch this. You think I'm scared? Effect. Is it physical? It won't tell me. It does not make contact. Ooh. Okay, yeah, that was a critical hit. Uh. Okay, that's good. Still a little bit worried. This should kill. Okay. Oh, a critical hit. So, it must be... Another... Special... Yeah, it's a special type move. Okay. So, there is two special moves. And here is... Here is our scare. Okay, I'm gonna heal up Giratina. I do not care if Sky gets a little hurt. I don't think it's, he's gonna do anything to kill Sky, but I, I can't. Right now, what I'm worried about is Giratina needs to be high health. Oh man. Oh man, okay, Sky, just get some damage off. Even a bit of damage is gonna make it. So, a Focus Sash isn't held anymore. You did good, Sky. You did what I needed you to. Good job. You did everything I needed you to. Now, Giratina? You can live this. You can live this. Come on. Come on. We did it. We did it. And finally, Staraptor. Let's end this off with Christy. Discharge! Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That is gonna hurt. Oh, that's gonna hurt. 
but it doesn't matter. Victory! And thus, we have won. We had a casualty, but in the end, our team is fine. Just a few moments ago, you were the most powerful challenger, and just now you became the most powerful of all the trainers. You are now our newest champion. That was excellent. Truly an outstanding battle. You gave the support of your Pokemon, your Pokemon needed to maximize their power. You guided them with certainty to secure victory. You have both passion and calculating coolness. Together, you and your Pokemon can overcome any challenge that may come your way. Those are the impressions I got from our battle. I'm glad I got to take part in the crowning of Sinnoh's new champion. Come with me, we'll take the lift. Well, I'll take the lift. You can follow after. I guess. I did it! I'm Sinnoh's newest champion! The room ahead is the Hall of Fame. Hello, Rowan! Fetch, your last battle was splendid. Oh, hello, Professor Rowan. Hmm. A child I enlisted to my, for my Pokedex project has come this far. It's only natural that I come and witness a child's crowning glory. Fetch, I shouldn't call you a child anymore. You've grown into a real champion. Professor, you still enjoy the enthusiasm kids bring to our research, don't you? Fetch, step this way. Professor Rowan, join us, please. It's been a long while since I last entered this room. If the last time here was when I became champion, then yes, that would be quite a long time ago. Fetch, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Your names will be recorded for posterity here. What you are leaving are the memories of your adventures so far. It's time to record your names, you and your Pokemon. Remember your Pokemon are partners that grew up with you through many challenging battles. This machine will take permanent record of your achievements. And we have done it. We have officially won. Sky, you did what you had to do. You didn't survive the series, but you did good. Giratina, you took out the Garchomp. Alitrace, you did amazing too. Patty, you are the weird Pokemon that I didn't think would be great against Spirit Tomb, but was. Lord Helix, you survived with two health. You did amazing. You're the MVP. And Christy, you took out the final Pokemon. Good job. And that is our team. Look at this glorious team. Look at this beautiful team. Just fantastic. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! I like how I had the three Pokemon, the three fossil Pokemon on the right, and then the other three on the left. I don't think that was intentional by the game, but I think it only did that because of how they were set up in my party, which is beautiful. We did it. And thus is the end of a beautiful series. And that is it for Pokemon Renegade Platinum. This was such a fun series. I cannot wait for the next plot for the next Nuzlocke of Adreno ROM hack, which we are going to probably do one of the black and white games next. The next series is something a little bit different. It is not one of the Adreno series. It is something a little bit different, which you will see once we get there. I like how that name is Ono. Oh its last name is Ono. Oh so yeah, that's it. For this series, this was a fun. This was a fun series. Why does Drifflim look like? Why does Drifflim look like a Drifflim? It's so big. But yeah, I cannot believe that we did this. Thirty-one episodes. This is one of my longer series, but yeah, we we survived this series, and I'm glad because I was really scared that we would lose, but we didn't. Honestly, 
when we got to that first berry fight, when we got to that berry fight in episode, I think, 17 it was, and we got almost wiped out, I thought that was it. Like, there was no way we were coming back from that. But to come back from that, as well as coming back from, what was it? To come back from that, as well as coming back from the fight versus, uh, Cyrus, like, to come back from those two fights and to still win when our, almost our entire team is wiped out from those two fights, I feel like I accomplished something in this series. <sighs> Through all those Pokemon, those basically two and a half boxes full of Pokemon that died to get us here. Including the final death of Sky. You were the true MVPs. Even though a few of you didn't even have any battles, but you know, it's fine. But truly our MVP goes to Omastar. Well, those are the MVPs. Our true MVP is actually Omastar, who survived both of those team wipe battles. <sighs> what a beautiful end to an amazing series. So that's it for me. I'm going to get out of here. I'm just going to let the credits play. I guess... Unless they're almost done, I might just stay and let the credits finish. But yeah, that's it for Pokemon Renegade Platinum. This is an exciting series. I can't wait to see what we have in store for the future when we do Volt White and Blaze Black. And we also do the other ones, because there's the Volt White and Blaze Black 2. I can't wait to... Oh, that was the battle that scared me. That very battle right there. Oh, no, that one was just scary. So, yeah, that's it for this final episode of Renegade Platinum. We... We did... So much in this series. But it has finally come to an end. In episode 31, I wish it was episode 30. But, you know, someone didn't tell me that we would have to go through the Elite Four after another episode because, you know, we had stuff. So, that's it for this episode. It was really fun, but it's... that's a Magnezone. The heck? What's a Magnezone doing? It's time for this to end. Looks like we're done here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in our next series. Goodbye.